Hey guys, AngelBen94 here, and I'm getting into a few subjects that I want to talk about with Star Wars Battlefront. Now, I played Star Wars Battlefront on the 16th when it was released, at midnight release. I live on the West Coast, and the way things are set up now is, um, my GameStop releases the game at 9pm, um, Pacific Standard Time, and, you know, that, it, that's midnight for Eastern Standard Time. So, you know whatever on that but I wanted to get into a few of the topics here and I'm gonna go into the order of how I listed them um, I will give kind of an overview and then I will go more in depth with it if I have time on certain things and I will try to stick as closely to the um, subject as I can first off heroes now on this map here of Hoth is actually the first time I ever got to play as a hero and you know so I was kinda greeted with a few different ways of how things were going on but, you know, heroes out of Boba Fett and, you know, Darth Vader and the Emperor, I would rather play as Boba Fett, and then I'd rather play as uh, Darth Vader, and then the Emperor I would play as never. I really don't like playing as the Emperor, um, and I'll get more into that, because it actually the reason why I don't like playing as the Emperor is what happened to me on Solus on, Emperor, on uh, Hero Hunt. Next thing that I have that I want to talk about is shotguns. Uh, there is about one to two shotguns in Battlefront right now, and very OP. Um, you know, some could argue that shotguns are OP in real life. You know, in real life, pretty much in real life, we need to stop going and comparing games to real life because in real life, you get shot with one bullet, you're you're out of action. There's nothing. There's nothing else to say. You're out of action. Um, but shotguns on here very close, especially on Hoth here. If you're in the caves, also known as um, the Rebels base, you're on the inside. Shotgun heaven is pretty much how that works out. Uh, also, another thing, spawn points. Now on Hoth, they actually got the spawn points. Uh, fairly decent since the beta, which you have to applaud DICE for. They got a lot done within a month, in a month's time, uh, between the beta and the actual release. Um, so, you know, the spawn points do need to be worked on on uh, Indoor, Solist, and a little bit of tweaking on Tatooine. That that could be done a little bit different. Um, next thing I want to talk about is Walker Assault on Endor. Very, very broken Walker Assault is on Endor. That has to be the most broken map so far for Walker Assault. <clears throat> Walker Assault on Endor needs a ton of work between the spawn points, between um, how many Y-Wings are able to be put in uh, for the Rebels to attack with. Uh, and I'll give one of the reasons why is because I was playing as the Empire uh, recently, and I ended up playing it in a game where the Rebels got every single one of their Y-Wings to be able to show up and go against that one AT-AT, and oh, holy cow, holy cow, it was destroyed within the first two up, uh, uplinks being activated. It was, it was annoying, and I'll get more into detail on that in a minute. Air combat or fighter squadron that needs a little bit of work too. Um, I mean, it is a fun gameplay. I do like it. Um, it does remind me of air superiority from um, Battlefield, but that's a different title, different game, but made by the same company. Um, you know, but <sighs> something I have to note about um, air combat is. In some of the vehicles, it's a little... Some of the uh, air vehicles feel a little brickish and sluggish, uh, depending on certain things. And I will get more into detail on these, you know, different topics that I have here. Um, and we're going to start back with the first one, Heroes. Heroes... <clears throat> the reason why I don't like playing as the Emperor, which is sh probably shocking to most of you, because he only has the shock effect... Um, to his credit, and he does not have a lightsaber. The thing is with him is I played on Solist on Hero Hunt, and I've played as Vader, I've played as Boba Fett, and the Emperor on Hero Hunt. Solist, 
for the spawn points anyway for Hero Hunt are fairly broken. I spawned as the Emperor outside the hangar, which when I played as the other heroes on Solus, I spawned inside the hangar in a different area than where everyone was. I spawned outside within about two seconds I was being shot up because I had no cover as the Emperor at all. No cover. And they were all staying fairly far away from me because they could. They didn't have to get up close to me. So, yes. Uh, spawn points on Solus are broken for Hero Hunt. And I don't really care for the Emperor just because of the fact that, you know, he, I don't care for him. He just, the shocking is just, it, I just don't like playing as him, but that's my opinion. Some people may like playing as the Emperor. I personally don't, just because of the lack of what he can do. Um, moving on to uh, shotguns. Uh, shotguns, like I said, there's only about one or two. I pretty much discussed everything with that, I think. Um, you know, like I said, they're just... <laughs> in close quarter combat, they're fairly frustrating. Uh, because I get killed by them all the time, especially on Hoth. Um, spawn points. Uh, indoor, they're... They're fairly decent, but they could be better. Uh, because I have been spawn killed. By the uh, rebels, when I'm playing as the Empire, they've actually gotten into our spawn points and been able to um, camp us. And you know, it's been a nightmare. After a while, we were finally able to kill them. Um, but you know, it it could be it could be worked with a little bit differently. Walker assault on Endor. If they were, and this is my solution for this, if they were to remove half of the Y-Wings, the Rebels could not win so easily. Uh, the reason why I say this is because, one, in a way, the Rebels are a little OP when it comes to Indoor. One, they have camouflage, which helps them so much, and the Empire is wearing black, uh, full white, not black. Why would uh, Black would actually make a little bit more sense. But anyway, the Empires are wearing full white, and they stick out like a sore thumb. <laughs> but, you know, the, the Rebels, they blend in so well, it's hard to see them. Even when I was playing as the Rebels, I could hardly see my teammates. It, had it not been for the blue, I would have missed them completely. Maybe that's just me, because I'm not too good with, you know, I like to have a back, um, a enemy that is contrast to the background so white against green easily you're able to see that um, another thing is it's just it's easy to win as the rebels on indoor first day I played with my friends on indoor we won as the Empire <laughs> now it seems like the only people that can win on indoor are the rebels so in my opinion take about half of those uh, Y wings at, uh, Y wings out, and you're good to go. Uh, that's my solution. Uh, so you know, about a quarter to half of the Y wings, take them out, and see how it goes from there. Because you have seven to eight Y wings against one ATAT, -AT, makes it fairly easy for the um, rebels to take out that one uh, Walker. Um, going to air combat again, fighter squadron. Now we've only seen Slade One and um, and uh, the Millennium Falcon. We've only seen those two um, those two air units for heroes. What I would like to see is them add in. This is something that I think would actually be kind of cool and bring a little bit more content if they did this. Bring it. Excuse me. If they were to bring in Darth Vader's personal fighter, I think that would be really really cool. They brought him in as a hero vehicle for that. That would be fairly cool for Fighter Squadron. Uh, another thing for the hero side, Luke's X-Wing. You know, give them the same amount of health that the Millennium Falcon and Slave 1 have. Boom, you're good to go because they're hard to take out. You know, you know, and give you know them their own certain you know like maneuvers and stuff because I've played. I haven't been able to play as a Millennium Falcon, nor have I been able to play as Slave 1, which I wish I have because I, I would really like to play as those because it's fun to be the hero. 
Um, but I've never been able to find the um, power up to become them, unfortunately. But you know, I would add in uh, slay, uh, the Emperor's personal fighter, not the Emperor, uh, Darth Vader's personal shuttle. Holy cow! Am I mixing up with my words? Darth Vader's personal fighter. <laughs> Holy cow! And then Luke's X-Wing. I think that would be a really cool add-in to the game. Make it a little bit more fun for everyone. Um, you know, just... It would bring a little bit more content in. And I think that would be actually very fun to be able to play as the... Uh, be able to play as those vehicles. Um, but yes. Um, so... Hmm... You know, the heroes, I don't like playing as the Emperor. Uh, explained why. Shotguns, I have never really cared for shotguns in any form of game. Uh, just because, one, I don't use them. Um, Walker Assault on Tatooine and Solus are fairly decent. Uh, still not the best. Not as um, good as Hoth. But then Hoth... That's the only map we've. That's the only map we've ever seen. ATATs on that planet. We've never seen them on Tatooine, nor have we seen them on Solus or Endor for that. Well, actually, no, we did see them in on Endor in Return of the Jedi for a brief second. But you've always, uh, whenever you think of an ATAT Imperial Walker, you always think Hoth and the Empire Strikes Back. The very first uh, area that the rebels are at, the first big battle that ever that takes place with AT-ATs, you instantly think of Hoth, and you've only seen the AT-AT on Endor once. So yeah, uh, I do have to say though that um, randomly throughout the maps on each map, Tatooine, Endor, uh, Solus, and Hoth, there are fairly cool things that happen. Um, you know, just because of the, um, like, just the little, like, um, Easter eggs they put in. They're, they're so cool. You know, just, the Easter eggs are awesome to see on these maps. You know, or just, you know, like, the destroyed vehicles on Hoth. Like the, um, uh, like the uh, Snowspeeder and the X-Wing. Those remains, and even the AT-AT remains, those are awesome. It'd be kind of neat if they added a few AT-ST uh, remains as well. But I doubt we're going to see that. Um, but, you know, other than that, it's just, you know... I do have to say this game is fun. I stopped for about a week. Had different things going on. Um, but, you know, playing, coming back, I've noticed pretty much max levels within a week's time. Which is insane. Um, that shows what happens when you only make it to where there's 50 levels. Yeah. Um, I do have to say that the, uh, working on your appearance as each, um, for the Empire and the Rebels is a little bit lackluster. It could be a little bit better, but it's not. Uh, so, yeah. But other than that, guys, I really don't have anything else to talk about. Um, you know, like I mentioned, heroes are fairly decent. Uh, shotguns, OP, in my opinion. Spawns need to be worked on. Uh, walkers on indoor. Like I said, it's, it's fairly broken. It needs to be worked on big time. And then the air combat. One of the things that I want to mention to you guys before I go is, um, in Fighter Squadron, if you guys didn't already know this, I'm going to help you out here. To determine whether it's an AI player or an actual player, if you hold your um, uh, lock on, for Xbox, it's, LT, it's uh, left trigger. You hold that, and it will, you know, get everything set up for you to start shooting it, lock on, to fire a uh, torpedo, whatever. If you hold that, there will be a name that pops up above, and that is a player. If there's no name, it's an AI. Uh, don't think too lighthearted of the AIs because I have been killed by them, because I focus mainly on actual players than the um, than the actual um, decoys. And I've noticed something that the there's only one vehicles that the um, AI control, and that is the X-wing or the um, 
Or the TIE Fighter. Those are the only two that the uh, AI will play as. Uh, they haven't. I've never seen an AI control an interceptor, nor have I ever seen the AI control the A-wing. It's always been an um, actual player that I've seen play those. So, you know, but, you know, anyway, guys, you know, as I said, everything's pretty much well done. But, you know, like I said, there are certain things that need to be changed. Um, I'm going to change my mind on the shotguns. Um, shotguns aren't that big of a deal, but, you know, personally, I don't like them. They're just kind of a nuisance for me. And, you know, not not all that fun for me, to be honest. I don't use them in any game that I play. I don't touch the shotguns unless I get ticked off enough to where I'm just like, you know what, I'll play by their rules and do what they were doing. Um, I do like Darth Vader because of the choke, uh, the, you know, sw you know, throwing the lightsaber. Um... And, you know, uh, pretty much, uh, um, sprint, um, <laughs> sprint attack that he has. Now, I've never been able to play as Luke, but I have played as Princess Leia and Han Solo, which they're okay. But, guys, that's going to do it for me for tonight. Um, I will see you guys in another video. I don't know what I'm going to be recording yet, but I will see you in the future. So, guys, if you liked it, please hit the thumbs up. Um, comment down below, guys, and you know, let me know what you think. Uh, until next time, guys, peace.